Hello friends, welcome to Unity Essentials video tutorial series. From the past few video tutorials, we are trying to understand transforming game objects. In the previous video tutorials, we understood translating, rotating and scaling game objects. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss snapping, movement, rotation and scale. Snapping allows us to precisely move, rotate and scale game objects in predefined increments. While moving, rotating or scaling game objects, hold down the control key to activate snapping behavior. You must hold down the control key to activate snapping behavior. To customize snap settings, go to edit menu, click on snap settings command. You get options to customize. Move X, move Y, move Z. Allow us to control the movement snapping on X axis, Y axis and Z axis. Rotation option allows us to control rotation snapping in degrees. Scale option allows us to control scale snapping. We have some buttons which allow us to snap to the nearest position. Let's have a demonstration. I go to Unity. I'm going to create one cube here. I say game object, 3D object cube. You can see it is created at origin position x, y, z set to 0. I change the scene to orthographic top view. I click on the green cone. Then I click on this cube of the scene gizmo. Now we are seeing the scene in orthographic top view. I click on the translate tool. Observe what happens without snapping behavior. I click and drag the red arrow to the right. You can see it is moving smoothly to the right. It is going to move smoothly to the left if I drag it to the left. Right? That is without snapping behavior friends. I click on the rotate tool and rotate around Y axis. You can see that it is smoothly rotating. That is without snapping behavior. Let me set the rotation Y back to 0, position X back to 0. I go to edit menu, click on snap setting. Here we have move X value set to 1. What is the meaning of that? If I hold down the control key, that means activate the snapping behavior and drag the red handle to the right or left, the game object is not going to move smoothly. It is going to snap by one units every time. That means it is going to jump one units every time. Let me demonstrate that. I click on the translate tool. I got the translate tool now. I hold down the control key and click and drag the red handle. Observe what happens. It is snapping by one units. You can see position X is directly changed to one. I hold down the control key, click and drag the red handle to the right. You see the position X is set to 2 directly. So it is jumping by 1 units every time, that is move X. I change it to 2 and I hold down the control key, click and drag to the left. It is going to jump directly to 0. I hold down the control key, click and drag the red arrow to the left. It is going to move minus 2. You can see it is jumped from 0 to minus 2. So that is snapping guys. I set it back to 1, that's the default value. I hold down the control key, click and drag the red arrow to the right. It is going to snap by 1 units. It is jumping by 1 units, you see that. We also have rotation here. By default, it is set to 15 degrees. That means if I hold down the control key and rotate this cube, it is going to rotate every time by 15 degrees. I click on the rotate tool. We got the rotate gizmo. I hold down the control key and click and drag the green circle, you see it is changed to 15 degrees. Rotation Y is set to 15. I again drag, you see rotation Y is set to 30 here. Observe in the inspector guys. I set Y rotation to 0 back. Next we have scale. I click on the scale tool, we got the scale gizmo. By default it is set to 0 0.1, I change it to 1. Observe when I scale this game object, it is going to scale by 1 units. I hold down the control key, click and drag the red handle. Scale X is set to 2. Scale X is set to 3. Scale X is set to 4. I drag left. The scale is X is set to 3. Scale X is set to 2. Scale X is set to 1. So that is called as snapping guys. I set the scale back to 0 0.1. Without snapping behavior, if I click and drag, it is going to smoothly scale guys. I hope you guys are understanding what is the meaning of snapping. We also have 
some buttons here snap in x snap in y snap in z snap on all axes i select the translate tool and move this somewhere around here just observe what happens guys i click on the x button here it is going to jump to the nearest x position i click on this x you see it is jump to the nearest x position try to understand this guys so x is set to 1 i drag it somewhere here i click on z observe it is going to jump to the nearest z position see that i drag it somewhere here i click on snap all axes you can see it has moved to x0 y0 z1 so that is snapping behavior guys i set the z back to 0 now the cube is at the origin you have option to change these values guys so remember that i close this window i go back to the perspective view or hold down the shift key and click on the cube of the scene gizmo now we are in the perspective view one of the most important thing you should remember is while level designing snapping helps us in precise placement of game objects we can precisely place the game objects guys for example i go to unity i zoom out i want to place this game object towards right by 6 units so how do i do that i hold down the control key click and drag this red arrow towards right see one unit two unit three units four units five units six units so i can exactly measure or calculate and place the game objects let me duplicate this cube i say control d to duplicate i want to place this cube one exactly four units to the left what i have to do guys it is very simple cube one position is exactly same as the cube i hold down the control key click and drag the red arrow towards left by four units so one two Three, four. Cube is at six. Cube one is at two. So six minus two is four. That is how the snapping is useful, guys. I hope you guys have clearly understood snapping, movement, rotation, and scale. How it is helpful. I think for this video tutorial, this much is enough, friends. I suggest you people to watch this video again and again. Understand everything clearly. Try yourself. In the upcoming video tutorials, we get more information. For more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my YouTube channel and don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial